you are welcome to this tutorial of Struct Insight. So we are going to quickly start by designing an isolated path footing or robust structural analysis. So we are going to click the new foundation and then we proceed to our job preference preferences. Under tools, we go to job preferences. You can see the structure dimensions, section dimensions. We'll proceed to the materials. We are using the materials from the British uh, standard. And also, we we'll proceed to the design codes. For this design, Geo technical code will be BS8004. And then, under our database, we move to reinforcing bars. And we are going to select the reinforcement grade readily available in Nigeria. So I'm going to open it. We use grade 410 in Nigeria and it's readily available. So that's what we'll be using. Having done that, we are quickly going to proceed to our item dimensions. So I'm going to limit this uh, isolated path footing to 1.2 meters. So it's assumed to be a square footing. And I'm going to fix the thickness to 400 millimeter or 0 0.4 meters. So very quickly. Also, the height from the top of the footing will be 0.7 using the columns. So, but for some reason best known to robot, since the column section we want to use is 225 millimeter, if it's used here for this A and B, uh, we are going to have some warning errors from robot showing that the reinforcement, uh, uh, the factor of safety for the PA reinforcement is 0 0.9. So I'm going to make uh, it's 0 0.3 by 0 0.3. Then we'll move over to the pier, and I'm going to use the column dimension of 0 0.225, which is 225 millimeters, and 0 0.225. Then we'll go to the oh, sorry, we'll make it 0 0.225, 0 0.225. So we are going to select the shape that is supposed to be a square footing and then under the optimization we'll make it 0 0.1 and then we click apply voila we have our footing then we'll quickly proceed to our concrete uh, calculation options so we have a cover deviation of 10 millimeter and I want the cover to be 40 so I'm going to make 30 use 30 and 30 then I will proceed to select my concrete grid my concrete grid will be grade 25 as you can see and then we move over to the longitudinal reinforcement where we will select the reinforcement grid I'm going to make use of my defined grid that is grade 14 and I'm going to limit my reinforcement to 16 mm and also for my transversal which for this design isn't necessary i might just limit it to eight and then additional reinforcement i'll still limit the grid to grid 14 and then the bar diameter to eight and 16. so having done that i can save my settings as f1 and then i click ok then I proceed to my reinforcement pattern. I do not require peer re reinforcement for this design. And also, I do not require the well bars. So I'm going to make my number of the well bars here zero. Then I can move over to my shape and limit the hook bend uh, angle to 90 degree. So having done that, I can come to the first part select my reinforcement type 
and I want a single layer reinforcement. So I'm going to select no option for top reinforcement. Having done that, I can now save my setting as F1 or F2 and I'll say OK. Having done that, we can now move to define our load. So for this footing, we are assuming that our column is pinned and with a dead load of uh, 300 kilonewton. So I'm going to add it. And I will define a life load for the column of 125 kilonewton. I also add that and then I close. Then we'll move over to our soil definition. Since we do not have uh, laboratory results for the test, we are going to make use of an assumed bearing capacity. So I will proceed to the geotechnical options. Here you can see the design code, geotechnical code being used is BS8004. So our calculation will be limited to the allowable, which is 0 0.2. And then I'm going to save my settings as F1. And I say OK and OK. So having done all this, we can now proceed to carry out our calculations. So we calculate and we can now view our results. We can see that our bearing capacity is within limit less than the 0 0.2 megapascal. You can proceed to your foundation uh, reinforcement. I'm going to minimize this table and bring it, drag it here. And press the home button of the view cube. And I can see that my reinforcement has sustained 12 numbers both way. So we can now proceed to the foundation note where you can check your divine, your defined parameters. You can see that the design is as needed. So with this, we are satisfied with the result. So we can go to the result tabs, to the calculation note, and see if the data and select the path we want for the result. So we say OK. The foundation note is opened in RTF. I can now proceed to screen capture it. I can now call it footing type 1, FT.1. And I'll say OK. Having done that, I can proceed to my printout composition and select the capture to move it over here. And then we can now save based on the formats, which whatever format you uh, want, or even proceed to print. So we can save it as a Microsoft Word uh, document. Wait for it to open. You can see that the results are already available, ready to be printed. So this is a title page which you can now edit as to your need. You can now see the calculation page down to the summary, to the summary of the reinforcement under the material survey, the provided reinforcement six y system along the y and x axis. So if everything is as it is, you can proceed to uh, save your calculation uh, sheet wherever you want it to be saved. I can now name it as maybe FT1 and then I save and then I can now close. So having done this design, we can also proceed to examine the drawings generated by robots as you can see. Robot proposed six Y system plus uh, one additional bar, 
just to cover it at a spacing of uh, 250. 